Namaste, friends. Jaya, thank you for joining me today for our yin flow. We're going to get straight into it. And those that join later can just pop in. Um, we're going to begin in an easy seat. And I'll try to take a seat on your heels if that's comfortable. Or maybe grab a cushion. You're going to be here just under the first 15 minutes of class. Um, working with some new stuff today. Kundalini here at the beginning of our flow. So just find your easy seat. Bring your pointer fingers to your thumbs. Try and move, draw lower your hands to your knees. Soften your gaze or close your eyes down. We seal the pointer finger, finger and the thumb. We're sealing, friends, our ego with our wisdom. Today, our word of focus is on tether. So allow that word to materialize in your mind's eye now. Take a deep breath in. Feel the full circumference of your heart expand in your chest. Seal your lips in a hole. Feel that air continue to expand within you. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Notice the sensation of your breath as it leaves your body. Take another deep breath in. Feel the life within you grow. Seal your lips and hold, squeeze your belly. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Feel the sense of relaxation and surrender and release. Take another deep breath in. Feel your heart expand. Squeeze your belly tight, hold. Open mouth, exhale. Good, friends. Begin to create more length through your spine. Activate your belly, breathe in, breathe out. Good, find stillness in this shape, softness in your jaw and in your lips, but begin to raise your eyebrows, so lift your forehead. If you look at me, close your eyes back down. We're gonna keep this very subtle movement going for several minutes. Lots of different reasons. Sometimes my face feels like it freezes up. I have to take a break and then go straight back into it. If that's the case for you, totally fine. But really work to fully commit here at the beginning of class, even if it's a little uncomfortable. We're working, friends, to activate the frontal lobe in our brain, or rather to shift the frequencies in our frontal lobe, specifically the pituitary gland, the pineal gland. Working to activate these areas in the body in this little movement. So welcome this opportunity to strengthen your relationship with a part of your brain that literally controls everything you do, why it controls your mind. And maybe this is an area that's felt a little dark lately, or maybe an area that's felt a little stagnant because of the change, because of our new normal, because of other things you're facing in your facing life. Maybe depression, maybe injury, maybe just the loss of a season or something you were looking forward to. Whatever the reason, we're to really commit. To creating more passion, more power from the inside out. This is an opportunity to really witness your ability to expand, to move beyond what you think you can do. Just stay present, just breathing, just moving your forehead up and down. 
massage your third eye center, squeeze between your brow, or let it feel like a massage. You're almost there, friends. Keep going. Lengthen through your spine, squeeze your core. Keep your jaw relaxed. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. So good, friends. Stay with it. Last moments here. And take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Begin to softly roll your neck to the right, to the left. So again, nice and slow. And gradually let these circles roll a little larger and begin to move a little bit faster. And this may begin to impact your present state of joy. But we really want to create flexibility in this area of the body. We want to keep this area of the body young. And too often, we face calcium deposits or many other reasons for why this area grows stiff. Now's the opportunity to really do some intentional work. Even if it feels unpleasant or ridiculous, just give it a go. Work to stay committed beyond your threshold. Let's have some fun with the experience. Whip your hair around. We're almost there. One more minute. Come back in an easy seat here soon. Melt away the stiffness. Just a few more rotations. Even up your sides. And then back up to an easy seat. <laughs> Take a breath in, send your palms up towards the sky. Draw your fingers in towards your palms. Thumbs stay up. And now lengthen your arms long. The press, inhale as you lengthen your arms. Exhale as you draw your arms in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, ease. Start to move a little faster here. We're going to be in this shape for several minutes, working to lift the chest, working to be present in the arms and present in our breath. Yes. Stay in it. Work to awaken your 360 core hip. I get blood working through your body in these moments, friends. Start to send that work you did in those first few minutes of the class out to your fingers, out to your toes. The pituitary, pituitary gland, I can't say it today. Help with boosting your hormones, your memory, your connection between brain and heart. Work to send that work out. Yes. Keep pushing. <laughs> Stay with it, friends. Almost there. Guys, big breath in. Big breath out, send your palms back towards the sky, facing me. Good, exhale, lower your hands down to a 45 degree angle. We'll work to draw our shoulders back and in, back and in. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. 
Good. Move a little bit faster. These are like tiny cat cow motions. Good right, friends. We're not here as long. Work for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big breath in. Send your hands to the sky. Bring your palms to touch. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Take a grounding breath in. And a grounding breath out. Remove your, your cushion if you are sitting on top of one. We're going straight into our hip friends, starting with double pushing. Left leg to face. Work your right foot towards your left knee. You haven't really done any opening just yet, so if you're really stiff and tight in your here, that's totally okay. Use your blankets, your sweater, whatever you need to give you a little bit of cushion between your knee and your arm. You can always use something a little harder, a block that might make you feel more stable if this is your edge and this is where you want to hang. You can take those cushions, you can walk your hands forward or lower your third arm to the you really didn't waste any time getting into some maybe interesting breath um, postures that maybe make you feel a little more vulnerable or uncomfortable. Um, certainly feels a little vulnerable <laughs> doing Kundalini just to myself. But the benefits are so far reaching. Rooted in Eastern science, there's some really interesting books out there that doctors and psychologists have written. Anodea Judith is a great one for you all to check out if you're interested in the chakras and how they align with our Western psychology system. Mm. But that shout out <laughs> was meant to lead to this comment to reconnect with your breath and to continue to witness and experience the benefits of those first 11 minutes and these moments. Take that energy, that frequency, you just shift it in the frontal lobe of your brain and begin to send that frequency out to your physical body. Let it manifest a little more consciously. Really connect with your breath cycles here, using your exhales to send out what doesn't serve you, what you don't want. Maybe inch your fingertips a little closer to the screen. Hi, Claire Bear. <laughs> I'm glad I made you laugh. Namaste. Yes. This is meant to be fun, y'all. <laughs> Breathe here. Yeah. I'm starting to invite a lion's breath into my practice. It's one of my favorites for releasing um, resistance or unwanted, unwarranted, unneeded emotion. Um, out of the body. So on your inhale, really fill up with the air. On your exhale, stick out your tongue, roar. See, boss, my lion scratch. I'm fine with it.
you can really use this breath as well to train the body um, to strengthen in you know certain <laughs> you can really in these moments train yourself to be graceful to be more peaceful, to be more joyful in your day-to-day -day interactions by creating joy and peace in an uncomfortable position or even in uncomfortable moments, like when you're bobbling your head to the right and to the left. <laughs> but I promise you that its benefits are healing and it's all been integrated into this flow for a reason to strengthen your relationship with yourself. Connect with yourself. Big breath in. Big breath out. Almost there. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Softly rise, but then change out your legs. Double pigeon or fire log on the left. Work your left foot on top of your right knee. Maybe it meets your shin, maybe not. Utilize your tools here, your blocks, your cushions. And when you're ready, surrender down to your body's threshold today. are all in those first 11 minutes of class, then chances are you might feel a little vulnerable, you might feel a little light or airy through the top of your head. You might feel any number of things because everybody is different, yes? But that area is active now. The pineal gland in yoga is connected with the third eye center. Because within the pineal gland, there are senses like vision, yeah? Mm. So you have the opportunity to really activate your vision, to connect with your vision throughout this entire flow. We started by working the mind before we work into the hips this practice so that we could be more mindful, more conscious about what we want to shift and change in our waking life, in our physical body, starting there. How do you want to feel during the next 30 days? Our word is to untether. There's so much unknown. There are so many shifts and changes happening in our world and for everyone. So how are you able in the wake of that tumult and change to walk the path of unconditional happiness? I can ask you a very simple question while you're here in this hole. Do you want to be happy? And if the answer to that question is yes, then that becomes your aim. Certainly there are a lot of layers, a lot of factors that pile on top of the simplicity in that. But simply point, you can create that joy in your physical body right now. You have control over that. So maybe that's what that all means. And when you start to really control this, when you really begin to create a more positive, a more peaceful world, and don't you deserve that, especially right now? Why not find joy in every moment? Why not really embrace 
this opportunity to open up your body, to let this be a blessing for your body and experience. Let your shoulders soften. Come back to that fire breath breathing. Lion's breath. Breathe out. So friends, you're just here. One more minute. Really exaggerate your exhales. Activate your core, but at the same time, witness the back of your left hip unpack. Some of that tightness just soften and dissipate. Dragonfly pose. Seated wide legged forward fold. Upa Vishta Konasana. So spread your legs wide. Bring your hands behind your hips. Shimmy your weight forward a few inches. If this is creating any pain in your knees, bring a nice bend into your knees or maybe pillows. Bend. If your spine is already starting to round, take your cushion or a towel and sit on top of it. Option to bring your forearms to blocks, option to bring your third thigh to blocks, or option to walk your hands forward. And again, releasing your chest towards the floor. And you have the opportunity in this long hold because we're here for several minutes. To point and flex your toes, to gradually walk your hands forward and bring more weight towards your inner thighs. But give your body time to get there. That's the beauty of a yin flow and the beauty of these long holes is that you can get deep into the connective tissue and really. Start to tease out and untether from what you've been bound to, from what's been holding you back, from being joyful. Or from finding contentment in your day to day. Thank you for bringing me contentment, friends. Namaste. I appreciate your energy and how special it is for us to be flowing as a community together across continents, across states, all connecting through yoga, through movement and through breath work, all connecting to this aim to create peace within ourselves so we can create peace outside of ourselves. Because that is the aim of yoga. Your exhales get a little louder. 
Mm, and softly rise up, friends. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Woo! Give yourself an embrace. So much love in this moment. And then come to cow face legs on the right. Press your right leg over your left. And as you arrive here, your feet might be in close towards your thighs. That's fine. But challenge yourself to begin working your legs out to deepen the stretch, to deepen the sensation. My beautiful dancers, you have the option to come back to double pigeon. And anybody does it for whatever reason, they can't access what's happening here or it's too much, too little, whatever the reason. And to, again, parallel your knees with one another, parallel your feet out wide, anchor both glutes into the floor, shimmy yourself from side to side to make that happen. And then walk your hands forward if that's accessible. And you can use, again, those cushions. And those can be really, really awesome in poses like this one. Maybe you have something bigger. Cool. Namaste. Or you can make this more active and stay away from props, either by choice or because you weren't sure what you were going to need. Good. Let your head hang heavy. Just take all stress and tension out of your neck. Again, our neck, our spine is the super highway of the body. And all those messages, right, traveling through the spine from the pituitary glands, from our pineal glands. So we want to keep this area warm. Open, safe, <laughs> supple. So give yourself the gift of vitality in this moment by really slowing down. By deepening your connection with your physical body with every breath. Feeling every sensation with curiosity, with loving kindness, with tenderness. Feeling the aliveness rising and falling within you. Feeling the comfort, the relaxation in your exhale, your surrender, the passing of life, so to speak. Just breathe easy. Honor what is right now. Get loud with your exhales. Notice in this last minute, if you can adjust the height of a prop, if you can go a little further into this shape or just a little deeper into the present moment, the observation of the sensations in your body, I mean love for your body, joyful connection with your body. Three big breaths together, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, one more big breath in, big breath out friends, inhale, 
Rise to your seat. Place your right hand behind your right glute. Lift your left arm up and over. Take a breath in. Breath out. Twist. Look your left elbow outside your right thigh. Find length through your spine. Gaze over your right shoulder. Maybe lift your right palm. Press your thumbs into your heart. Bridging. We go with heart. Heart with wisdom. Three breaths, breathe in. Breathe out, twist deeper. Good, two more with just as much depth. Breathe in. Breathe out, twist. Last one, friends. Breathe and fill up. Good, exhale, twist. Slowly return to center. Counter out that twist to the right. Plant your fingertips, gaze over your left shoulder. Good, then come to your seat and change sides. Cow face legs on the left. Notice how this side feels different. We'll really um, be able to observe the imbalances in our right and left side, this practice especially. Work your left knee parallel with your right. Bring your feet out. Then shimmy your glutes from side to side. You can bring blankets, towels to that space that may exist. You can bring that couch cushion to your forearms. Or you can just use the body to help you connect. We're working this practice with the innermost layers of the body. We talked about the glands in the frontal lobe at the beginning of class, really in the innermost part of the brain. We're working to get to the innermost physical fabrics and to really invite some openness, some elasticity, some flexibility so that we can go about our day to day with grace. Mm. It's so easy to get wrapped up in how uncomfortable this might feel, how maybe it makes it hard to breathe, or maybe the pain or the dis ease leads you to want to get out of it quicker than I'm asking you to get out of it. And in that same breath, it can be so easy to get wrapped up in what we don't have or in what's threatening us. And don't get me wrong, conscious awareness is so important. Awareness is important. But we shift our perspective within in moments like this one and intimately engage with the animal layers of the body in this shape with the opportunity to invite ourselves to do the same when we're feeling like anxiety or stress is winning. When we feel like what we can't control is winning. Take three more big breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in, friends. Open mouth, exhale. 
Good, slowly begin to rise up. Bring your left hand behind your left foot. Reach your right arm to the sky. Take a breath in here. Breath out, twist. Hook your right arm outside your left leg. He's over your left shoulder. And that lane through your spine. Good. Soften your jaw, friends. Three big breaths. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Breathe out, twist open. Two more. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, twist. Last one here. Breathe in, rise up. Open up, exhale. So good, friends. Return to center. Twist right, push through your fingertips. Try that rotation. Good, then come back to center. If you have, no, we won't do the wall today. We will do a yin flow with wall work soon. So that'll be great. We're going to move into frog pose, Mandukasana. So if you have tender knees, option to roll your towel up. This is the beauty of an at-home flow, friends, is that you can honestly right now pull couch cushions off of, you know, out from the living room, wherever you are. Um, so take advantage of those things and grab those props. Spread your knees as wide as they will go. Point your toes out to the opposite side. Maybe you perch yourself on top of a couch cushion, on top of pillows. You can bring those pillows, you can bring those blocks in between your legs and the earth. You can bring forearms to cushions, blocks of the earth. And you can walk your hands forward. The more weight you shift towards your heels, the deeper into this pose you're going to go, the more weight you shift forward, the more you come out of it. So I want you to avoid like sharp pain, sharp discomfort. But this is a vulnerable pose. There is a lot of discomfort and dis-ease in this pose. So if that is what's getting at your mind right now, if that's what's threatening your ability to find stillness. And I want you to really bring your focus to your breath, to your inhales, to your exhales, to the sensation as it enters and as it exits, as you rise and as you fall. You don't have to go to your deepest expression at the beginning of this hole. This is yin. Let yourself soften down as your body is ready to. Shinda, invite a subtle cat cow spine, gentle arching, gentle rounding. Good friends. Hi, sister. <laughs> mm. I love all of you. Thanks for being here. I know Claire and Carrie are here, and whomever else is joining, Namaste. You are loved. You are light. So connect to that. Made it this far through class. Five of you have been on consistently. Yes, Jack, thank you. So, if you want to take this a step further, we try the inhales, drive the exhales, commit. 
to those half inch gains. Clear the passageways through which energy travels. Work out that muck, that toxicity you don't need it. Now is the time to feel good in your body. Invite the changes now to secure that feeling, that sense of pride, joy, love, because you feel good on the inside. Friends, you're at the halfway point. Stay with it. And see whether you can widen your legs or send more weight towards your heels. See whether you can walk your hands further forward or just stay where you are. Be gentle with this tender space. Hi, friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really into that cold. That is one of the hard things about um, <laughs> doing classes live, that I'm doing it with you. And it's hard to be conscious and having a screen in front of you at the same time. But it's a great challenge, and I love being with you. Lean into your breath. Lean into your prana. Breathe through it. Just like those forehead lifts at the beginning of class, or in the circles from head to side that made some giggle. Just like you felt like you couldn't make it through that, I want to challenge you to make it through this. You made it through that. Awesome. Now you're here. <laughs> so make this moment count. Woo! Big exhales, breathe in. Breathe out. Keep that loud breath going. Build so much energy. Build a frequency that we can all feel in these moments, in these final moments in this shape. One minute remains, friends. Find your edge. Find your depth. Three big breaths, breathe in. Breathe out. Let something go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last breath. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. So good, friends. Stop. We begin to rock weight forward. Oh, come to your bellies. And take your time <laughs> to come to your backs. Rather, come to a seat. Namaste. Your champions, friends. Thanks for sticking with this. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a huge embrace. Counteract that expansion you just did. And then grab a strap, a scarf, a t-shirt, something you're going to use this prop. You can use a string, the arm of your sweatshirt. We're going to start here with our right hand, drawing our right foot towards our right shoulder. If you just simply don't have anything to use, just use your hand. Bring them to your shins. Keep a micro bend in your knee. This stretch feels so good through our roots and through the back of our legs. We're working to flush out all of that energy we broke down throughout practice in these last remaining poses. Starting by awakening the brain, working down through the body here in these final moments. To the legs. But if you're shaking, you're trembling because you're trying to really work your foot closer to your mat, back off just a little. You don't want injury. You want to trust the body, listen to the body. It's part of the power and awakening the pineal gland in the brain. Working to awaken your intuition, your inner knowing. Trust your inner knowing. You are your best guide, especially now. Take a breath in. Breath out. Move to recline to the hand to toe pose. Like your right leg fall open, gaze left. If your left hand begins to spill off the floor, glue it down to your mat with your left hand. Don't worry whether or not your right foot meets the earth. Just work to draw your toes towards your shoulder and to soften your heel down with each exhale. Good. Take three more big breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. More big breath in. Big breath out. Use the strength of your core to lift your right leg. Take your strap in your left hand. Move to recline for fall to begin to toe pose. Let your right arm fall open. Allow your left leg to soften towards the earth. Keep both shoulder blades glued firmly to your mat. And just enjoy this opportunity to raise the body. Maybe right now you're experiencing some soreness. And that's okay. Do a lot with your lower back and your hips. But begin to acknowledge that work. It's a positive shift. Something good. Use your breath as fuel here. Don't let it fail you at the end of the flow. 
lose your breath, you lose your practice. Two more big breaths, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last big breath in. Big breath out. Go ahead, draw your right foot in. Pull your knees into your chest. Cocoon your body. Then send your right leg long. Lift your left foot. Loop your strap around the sole of your lifted leg and draw your toes towards your shoulder once more. Again, main integrity in this pose without overdoing it. Just want to invite space and breath through the back of our thighs. For so many of us who are so tight. Let's untether from those blockages, from that tightness. Let's move beyond those boundaries. Let's see those boundaries as elastic, as flexible. Take a breath in. Breath out, big hand to toe pose. Let your left leg fall open. If your right hip lifts off the floor, glue it back down to your mat. Both shoulders are grounding. Again, be mindful here. Draw your toes towards your shoulder blade. your core, lift your left leg, take your strap in your right hand, move to front line for falls, big hand to toe pose, gaze towards your fingertips, press your shoulder blades down, make these final moments count, notice the small shifts you make and the way that enhances sensation, Feel your aliveness. Celebrate your aliveness. Untether from anything other than that. Stay loud with your breath. Almost there, friends. Three breaths together. Breathe in. Open mouth. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Fill up. Open mouth. Exhale. Lift your left leg. 
Bend into your knees. Take the modified happy baby. Let your legs fall open just halfway. Connect with your head, connect your lower back with your mat as you form small circles to the right, to the left. Hmm. Rock and roll the length of your spine up to a seat. We have one arm open there before we really ground an anchor here. Supported bridge or bridge pull. So if you have blocks or if you have a long cushion, you can place it at the back of your mat. Find the base of your shoulder blades and roll from that spot. Top of your head comes towards the earth. With blocks, take one block vertically, one block horizontally. And if you're just using your body, form out with your hands, shimmy your thumbs in towards your glutes and lower your forearms to the earth. Supported bridge, spine rests on the first block, top of head on the second. So, so many options to get into this heart opener. And the beauty of a supported fish and yin is that you have the opportunity to let your shoulders just melt around your prop. Maybe like all the work is taken out of this pose, but the heart remains elevated, suspended, connecting with those high vibrational frequencies you generated during this flow. Feel that peace within you, feel your inner glow. You can stay here for the remainder of class if you choose. This can be your Shavasana or option to remove your props and lower your spine to the earth. Take a few breath cycles. And then surrender into your final resting posture of class, your Shavasana. I will cue you out this pose. And we're ready. choose. If you're ready to move on with your Thursday, begin to bring soft awareness back to your fingers and back to your toes. Slowly and softly roll out your ankles and roll out your wrists. Move your jaw from the left to the right. Rock your head from side to side. And then tuning with your intuition, the back of your third eye space. And curl to one side. Spend a moment in gratitude for your sacred breath for your beautiful life.
And then rise to a seat at the top of your mat. Keep your breath in, swim your arms up to the sky, gather your blessings. And on your exhale, pull them into your heart. Beautiful friends, may all happiness find you, may all love surround you, and may the pure light within you guide your way on. Namaste. And namaste, friends. Thank you so, so much for being here um, and for taking today's flow. I know it was a little funky. It was a little different. But again, our message was to untether. And each of us untethers in different ways. Some of us through comic relief. Some of us um, through movement, through breath work. Others of us through something a little more fiery. Um, and I just want to thank you for taking this time to kind of consider what that word means to you and how you can continue to untether from what isn't serving you. I'll see you tomorrow for vinyasa. Thank you for your time, your energy. Mwah. Namaste. Beautiful friends. I love you so much, sister. I love you, Claire Bear, and all the yogis that were here. Christina. Namaste. Love you all. Have a magic day. Yes.